Okay, so quick video today. I know I've been on a hiatus for about five months now, but I felt compelled to make this video. I have already posted this information twice, once in Trees on Reddit and once on Twitter, but right now I believe it to be prudent not to share weed right now. But I come here as a PSA for stoners that right now might not be the time to share weed with others. Now, the reason I say this is because of COVID-19, or as it's known, the coronavirus, has been going around and, well, killing people. The coronavirus is nothing new. This is just a new strain, and it has a mortality rate of about 3.4%. Sign symptoms include fever, shortness of breath, and coughing, and those who are most susceptible are the elderly, those with respiratory issues, and those with heart conditions, such as diabetes or high blood pressure. The reason that I suggest it might be a good idea to not share right now is because COVID-19 is transferred through droplets. Droplets are spread when one coughs or sneezes, or potentially even yawns. I don't know for a fact on that one. I did not look it up. It just seems logical. Basically, anything that comes from your respiratory system can transfer it. So as for why not to share it, there's the obvious. You know, if you have a blunt, a joint, or a bowl, you're going to be putting your mouth all over it, slobbering over it. You know, some of that stuff. Okay, you're not going to be that obnoxious. You're just going to, you know, put your mouth on it. Hopefully not slobber on it, but even so, there are, there is still the transfer of some germs. With a bong, that is different because you are puckering your lips inside of it. So you don't have your mouth around it, but you can still hypothetically backwash your spit into a bong. And even if not sharing implements, it might not be the best idea to even smoke around others right now. And the reason for that is because when you smoke weed, this happens. Oh, that, that actually went smooth. This is actually my second take on this video. The other one, I, I just kept messing up. So that bowl was kind of already half spent. Oh, by the way, this is my bong Makeda. Named after the Ethiopian name for the Queen of Sheba. Uh, the other, the bowl, the double bowl bowl that I have, it doesn't have a name. I don't like it enough. It was a dumb, dumb, dumb purchase. Okay, take two, or take four on this, because there was actually... Anyways, take four. <laughs> that all hit me at once. But my point is, I just took a hit and I coughed all over the place. This room is now filled with my droplets. Now, it is a bummer because smoking with others is, well, it's fabulous. I love smoking with others. It is a wonderfully communal thing. But right now, COVID-19 is going around. And it first got a foothold on the West Coast. Washington, Oregon, and California all have legal weed. Is that a coincidence? Yeah, of course it is. It was gonna happen no matter what. But yeah, we are now in a pandemic, according to the World Health Organization. So we need to take the precautions. Cover your sneezes, your coughs, and your yawns. If you are sick, stay home. If you don't need to go to crowded areas or crowded activities, if 
You don't need to go to Disneyland. Don't go to Disneyland. And I say that as somebody who... That's from somebody that loves Disneyland. I really think they need to close right now, you know, for the public health. I'm actually really irritated at them because they're not closed. But they gotta make that money. Uh, that Haunted Mansion poster is actually from the Marvel comic for the Haunted Mansion. There's actually been two different Haunted Mansion comic books. There's the Marvel one, which came out in... Uh, I don't remember what year. And then there's also the one from Slave Labor Group. I am high. And remember to wash your hands for 20 to 30 seconds under warm to hot water. If you cannot find soap and water at the moment, hand sanitizer is a decent substitute. Not as good as hand washing, but it's okay. You don't need anything fancy. Your standard bottle of soft soap will do fine. This one's pretty empty, but it will do fine. I am just going to demonstrate here. I do not have running water with me. But you really want to get your hands. You really want to get everywhere. You want to get the fingertips. You want to get your fingernails. You want to get in the knuckles and the palm of your hand. In between the fingers. You know, even get your wrists a little bit. You know, I closed the door behind me coming in. That's going to be fun to open. You know, I'll, I'll get it. But yeah, continue washing your hands. And for 20 to 30 seconds. Um, a common one I've heard is happy singing happy birthday in your head. ABCs twice or something. I don't remember exactly, but you know, the old classic... One Mississippi, two Mississippi. That's always a good go-to. And if you're using hand sanitizer, you can cover the same amount of area on your hands. And if you wear gloves, if you're taking that precaution, learn how to take off gloves. You can't... I, I wish I had gloves with me, actually. I should, I should have swiped some from work. I, I wouldn't do that, but... Let's pretend this... Oh, socks. Socks will do. These are different size socks, but they will suffice. So, I have my two gloved hands. and Just just go with it. And this gives me enough dexterity with the fingers to do this. What you want to do is, with your non-dominant hand... or This is your dominant hand. This is your non-dominant hand. You want to pinch the palm of your hand and pull. Just slide it off. Wad that up into the other glove. It, okay, it's a little hard now because I don't have the fingers, but take a finger, slide it under the cuff, and inside out. You have just taken off gloves properly. So this is a PSA video. Do not take any levity as a lack of seriousness. This is a deadly disease. It has a mortality rate of 3.4%. If only 10% of the U.S. population got coronavirus, that would be about 1 million dead. So take precautions. Just smoke smart, smoke safe. I will be back with something else in the future. Until then, and probably even then, I'm Amy. Um, thank you for joining me. I recently reached 100 subscribers recently, so that is pretty awesome. I can finally get to that custom URL. I'm kind of trying to decide if I do want it to be the Notorious BTG or not. We'll see. We'll see. But, yeah. 100 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you so much. I will be back later. Bye-bye. And the soap's dried on my hands now, so, yeah.